I don't know about you guys, but I always look at those pictures and think, did they take off their shoes? Did they mess up their hair? Did they put dirt on their face just for this picture, just to get at my heart? And I'm telling you, that's not the case. And I just came home to my church and I just kept saying, that program really works. That program really works. You can see it in the lives of these kids. The first opportunity that I could get, I got on that plane and I went into that village. And um, it's really one of those moments that you just don't forget. Get. You know, when I met him and he hugged me and his grandmother just grabbed my arm and just tears in her eyes just pouring out how much it meant to not only Wendell but to the family. That he had food and that it was sending him to school and that he had all the school supplies he, he needed through the sponsorship program. Most of the kids in this particular village that are not sponsored are not in school. And the reason they're not in school is because the parents in that village just can't afford it. Every time I've been there, you'll have parents bring their kids up to you and just say, please sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. They want to be sponsored. It impacts the kids, it impacts their families, and it impacts the whole community. And I asked them, I said, what do you guys want to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? And before they were sponsored, these boys would have been saying, what is there to do? I can't really leave the village. I'm going to work with my dad in the field or, you know, there's not much beyond this village. But when I asked them this the last trip, the one said to me, I want to be a teacher. And the next boy said that he wanted to work something to do with science, that he loved science. And then the little boy that I had been sponsoring, Wendell, said, real shyly, he's pretty quiet, but he said, I want to be a pastor. <laughs> so at that moment, I just remember saying, I am one proud sponsor mom right now. We can get packets of information to all of these churches of kids that are available through Compassionate Ministries and get those into your church and stand up, talk about sponsorship program, talk about my story, talk about maybe the children you're personally sponsoring, tell your neighbors, advocate for these kids and just get up there and share from the heart what this means to these kids and if just five or six people in a church decide to sponsor a children, that's five or six more kids that are receiving all that compassion and love and want them to learn about the love of Jesus.